This is Arjun Kokunda from SS Small Time Media. Today, our topic will be division as repeated subtraction. Objective. Our objective for today will be understanding how to use subtraction to divide larger numbers. Let's start off with me showing you how to do a few problems. You obviously need to know division for this, normal division, or it won't make much sense. And you need to know your multiplication tables. So our first problem here is 28 divided by 2. So what we are going to do is first, let's do this. So because we're dividing 28, we're going to write 28 over here. Now let's think about it like this. So most of you know your multiplication tables until uh, probably 10 or 12. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to divide more than that. But obviously most of you do not know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract to find the answer. So now, because most of us know multiplication tables until 10, what we're going to do is we're going to do 2 times 10. 2 times 10 is 20. So we're going to subtract 20 out of 28. So 28 minus 20 equals 8. Now what we'll do is because 2 times 10, we got 20, we're going to write 10 on the side over here. So, yeah, we write 10. And now, we ha let's think about this. 8 in two, uh, in 2 table. So, in 2 table, what time does 8 come? Or you can say, like, how many 2s go in 8? Well, that's easy. 2 times 4 is 8. So... Let's write 4 over here. Now, 2 times 4 is 8, so we get an 8 over here, subtract, and our answer is 0. But that's not our answer. We're doing 28 divided by 2. You must be thinking, oh my god, I didn't get anything. Is this the wrong lesson? Well, no. What we do here is we're supposed to add these two numbers. So 10 plus 4 is our answer. And 10 plus 4 is 14. Our answer here is going to be 14. Now let's do the second problem. Here we have 78 divided by 6. So what we're going to do, again, is we're going to write 78 over here. And then most of us know our multiplication tables again until 10. So what we will do is 6 times 10. Well, 6 times 10 is 60. So 78 minus 60 is, well, let's figure that out. 8 times 0 is 8. 7 times 6 is 1. So it's 18. Now, think about this. How many 6 go in 18? Well, that's easy. 6 times 3 equals 18. So now, we get minus 18 here, and then we put a 3 there. So our answer here, well, for this thing, this problem, is 0. This problem is zero. Yeah. So now for this problem, we need to find the answer. So again, we're adding 10 and 3. So our answer here is 13. Now let's go to the one last problem where I show you how to do it. So we have 117 divided by 9. Well, that's a huge number. But don't worry, we're doing the same thing again. So, writing 117 minus 90. Well, 
9 times 10 is 90, so let's put a 10 there. And then, let's subtract. 7 times 0 is 7. 1 times 9, well, we can't do that, so we're bringing this one over here. This becomes 11, this goes away. So 11 minus 9 is 2, so we got 27. Now, think about this. How many 9s go in 27? That's easy. 9 times 3 is 27. So, let's put a 3 there. And then 27, subtract. The answer here is 0. Now, let's find the answer to the, our main question. So, again, we do 10 plus 3. And our answer is 13. Again. Because we got... 13 here and here. Now that I've shown you how to do this, try these three problems by yourself. Good luck! Did you get an answer? Now I'll show you how to do it. So our problem here is 26 divided by 8. So what we're going to do I mean, did I say 26? Sorry, I meant 96. Anyway, so what we're going to do is, again, we're going to write 96 here, minus 80. So let's put a 10 to the side over here. Now, let's subtract. 6 minus 0 equals 6. 9 minus 8 equals 1. 16. And 8 times 2 equals 16. So we get a 0 here. And now we add 10 and 2. So we get 12. Let's erase this part because we need workspace. But remember, when you're doing this on an actual test or homework or anything, you have to show your work. So you don't so make sure you have enough space to share your work. So now let's do it over here. Let's do our second problem. The second problem is 24 divided by 4. Well, this one we don't need to do much because this is not more than you know more than 40, because 10 times 4 is 40. What is 24 divided by 4? Well, I'm pretty sure all of us know that 4 times 6 equals 24. So, all you need to do is just write 6 there. This wasn't much of our topic, but I just wanted us to review what we did before. Anyway, moving on. Let's do one last problem. So, our last problem... 70 divided by 5. So let's do 70. And then 5 times 10 is 50, so minus 50. Let's put a 10 over there. So now we'll do subtraction. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 5 is 2. And 5 times what is 20? Well, 5 times 4 is 20. So, minus 20, 0, we're done with that. Okay, now we need to add this. 10 plus 4. Well, 10 plus 4, that's easy. Our answer here is 14. Equals 14. Did you get the right answers for all of them? Well, Comment it down in the comment section below. Keep practicing these problems. At some point, you'll perfect them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.